Physically World of 21, the 21 Savage story. Right now we are coming off of Jack Dawes' tomb, so let's go, let's hop in, let's make this happen. Hey Siri, it's movie time. Thank you. Alright. Okay, so it was the map chamber stuff that I was at here. Uh, as you can tell, I don't prepare before any of my streams. <laughs> Here we go. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? You oh, because this game would be too easy if you didn't have it. Is there any secrets? Oh. I know this game. See, what you've got to do with these chests is that you've got to make yourself invisible. Like, like this. Well, goodbye. Now he can't see you. And when he can't see you, he can't stop you from opening it. But the sad part is the poor guy dies. I think. And I didn't get anything out of that. <clears throat> There's gotta be something to it, though. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with a the book. There you go. That's the spirit. Huh. I wanna know what these locks are, man. I need to figure out what's the deal with those. And that means there's a key somewhere. Shut up, Billy! You need to learn to pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Come on. Just watch the center. Got it. As soon as that key crosses your 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 sight. You hit the X and slap it. Uh, what am I to do? Rebellion. Can I get through here? Is that a thing? No? I came from here, right? Oh. Did I come from there? No, I came from here. I'm an idiot. In here, and a key, and a field guide page. Never tickle a sleeping dragon. Are you sure? This is the Wizards of Waverly Place, so anything can happen here, right? There you are. Come on, run, twenty-one. Get in that hole. Rebellion. Okay. That's pretty cool. <gasps> Revelio. Right? Oh, yes, maybe. 
Revealed something. Something's going bling. Hi. A treasure chest. How do I get back there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Revelio. Revelio. <sighs> oh, there's a way over there. I just gotta figure it out one day. This stairwell looks promising. Where are you at, Butterfly? This looks like the portrait from the map. And where's the treasure? Shut up, dog. Glue factory. <clears throat> Quit! Dude, oh. What'd I say? That's it. Rebellion. Stupid light spell because I saw one of those pictures down here. Uh, Lumos Lion statue. That is not here. There's a lion. Where's the lion? Revelio. <laughs> I guess it's downstairs. Oh boy.
He is dying back there. <coughs> Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. <coughs> Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop the loops will not be taught or, in fact, tolerated in this class. Look, it's you Harry Potter. Harry Potter is like here. Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it. Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, <clears throat> step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. That's easy. Thank you. The force. Now, your turn. Up, up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! You better listen, bitch. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. But ma'am, I'm 21 and I do what I want. I'm a savage. Harry Potter, bro. Harry Potter is right there. And He's right if there. if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. I'm gonna beat him. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do this will take, take some care. getting used to. The brooms are school class. I like I this because you're using the sticks. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Why does she look at me like that? That's weird. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Nice day, nice day. Ha! Good. I've got this. This is easy. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Well, this is like crossing the lake as the first year. It's my first year. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Huh. Ah. Dude, the music is just amazing. Huh, that wasn't too bad. Oh, well done! Have a moment. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Oh, but I'm beat you, Harry. Myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right? Why are you a fake name, Harry Potter? Like you might be interested in some high flying fun. I like the sound of that. I'd say no to that. What did you have in mind? <clears throat> a bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Oh, that was Harry Potter, bro. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? It is, it is. 
ahead of the gardens. The Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> oh, that's now cool. Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? That's cool. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. And where have you two been? Oh no. Oh, Ow. hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. Look at my but eyes. Professor, that's enough. So why'd I class is finished for the day. Bitch, I do what I want. I'm 21. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. And you do the same. You do the same. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. She's flirting with me, homie. Alright. Alright. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were <coughs> worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. Oh, yeah. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Go Perhaps buy I have one, to purchase asshole. A broom, then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I Why recommend not? Get a visiting job. Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. <clears throat> can I go buy a broom now? Is that a thing I can do? What map? What map? What's this? Oh, I don't care about that. Let's go to Hogsmeade. I should be able to. Yes, right? Does it get any more cold? How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the defense against the I don't care about you, homie. I know a discreet place near there. <laughs> Noodle, quit! Ah, new face. Wonderful. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Alby Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently, criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. 
Right, right kill them all. Back to work. I'll if a particular broom you, takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the U one's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Let's see what you got, homie. They're all 600? Interesting. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Nice doing business with you. Ooh, I like those a lot. The light touch. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Yeah? Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Yes. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. Okay. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Let's do it. That sounds awesome. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match. Seeing flyers maneuver the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. <gasps> I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate happen. Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or puddle me <laughs> united. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. 
The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Corridor, as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Right, let's go see what common time wants. Revelio. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Oh, I don't Winnerty. trust this lady. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. Very well. If I have time, I That's shall see That's why she's so oh, crazy. Kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck. So what I like to do is I like to find all the secondary missions, start them, and then just do them as I go. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery. Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Perfect. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's <sighs> a talented potioner in her own right. Oh. I dare say yeah. I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, you dirty old man. Oh, yeah, you dirty what old man. What can I do for you today? All right, let's see. I had to get something. I had to get one of these. A wise decision. I had to get Thank one you. of these, pretty sure. One of these. Oh, why is yeah, decision? Man. Thank you. Why not? No, because it's five hundred dollars. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. All right. 
Uh, that one quest. What was it? Professor Sharp's assignment. Choir needs a focus potion. Okay. So like... Focus. And then we just... Have I been down here before? Uh, I have not. That's the farthest I've been down. Right out of a storybook. Well, can I fly? Oh no, did I just waste one of those? God, I love the music while flying. Like, what are these? Do I fly into them? Is that a thing? And then I have to pop the rest of them, right? This is fun. Tilted house. There's something there. There's some nuts. What else is there? There's something else in here. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Always leave that pippin. I got you, homie. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. Ha! <laughs> ha! 
sent a child to do his work for him. Yes, he did. Well, Always not really a cutting child. corners and you know, taking the easy way savage. out. Did he have your bro them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. I'll take him. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. That's probably Here the, the same shit. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for uh, himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a commission from me until you prove the potion works. What? Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. It's like the equivalent of trying drugs. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. It if will do. If the potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give when him the do. benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. She's got a crush on him. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Not well, detective. I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered no, the potions. No as one threatens you do 21. that. What do you have for sale? Three invisibility potions. What are you looking <laughs> for today? You ain't got shit. What the hell are you talking shit for, lady? Miserable hag. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Revelio. I gotta return to that rap bastard. Oh, that's cool. Revelio Saber. So Not sure how it's fair in a little here. place like this. I've always said Could it be a Merlin trial? What? What? What happened? Revelio. Oh. Oh, it's something I can't do yet. Maybe I can. Yeah. I'm 
I'll probably need a stronger spell for that. <clears throat> Rebellion. Oh. Just in case I gotta go over there for something. Imagine how inconvenient travel was. the other room feels like. I like this one. Trouble's brewing and I'm without it. Trolling this area is a waste of my time. Oh, no. Oh, 
try not to make this too easy for me. Rebellion. Let's see. That intruder. Rebellion. Let's just see what's around. find the door for a second. right out of a storybook. Alright, you can stop repeating that 21. That's getting annoying. Rebellion.
What are you up? There's no telling what lies in wait for me. How nice of you to stop by. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most Fascinating. Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. <laughs> yes, indeed. Talking to myself again. I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you She's might like be witch. interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often <clears throat> ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. Interesting. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. An archaic puzzle? Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested. And wait till I tell you about the rumours surrounding this particular puzzle. My husband, Greville, insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> oh, man, Perhaps you, you him. take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. Where can I find this statue? It's not far from Irondale. It's down by the shore, near those old ruins. You can't miss it. If I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. I should look into the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. I should investigate. Revelio. Rebellion. Interesting. <laughs> and then what I'll do is do the side missions on the way up. Tomb of Treachery. Let's go. Well, I'm out of 
of here then. So I guess I can't get in there. I can't go past this point yet. Yeah. So this is the farthest point I can go right now. Maybe here? Oh man. Or broom, is it tired? On another adventure, are we? Who are you? What is it? What's wrong? Goblins! That's what. Radrocks lot. Nasty creatures. Ambush me, they did. Nothing safe anymore. I need a little something. Something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion. That would do it. I think I have one for you. You're right. The world's not safe at the moment. It's best to take precautions. Here. Use it wisely. Oh, I will. You can be sure of that. Ranrock's lot won't take me down. <laughs> <laughs> and I've you to thank. Please, accept this gift in exchange for your help. In exchange for your help. All right. So we got them all. Except this one. What do you have in store for me this time? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. What's wrong with you? Puking? Oh man, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Why are you puking all of a sudden? Sure, how I'd fare in a little place like this.
my young friend. What needs doing, needs doing. Is everything all right? If the Hamlet sent you here to talk to me about... about... I know what I have to do. It's not I every day a girl has to put I down her to. own troll. I should be allowed to work up to it. What do you mean, your own troll? I thought that's why you were here. I'm sorry. I suppose if you spend enough time with trolls, you forget your manners. I'm Alexandra. I didn't mean to be short with you. With Ranrock's that's lot just seemingly from, everywhere, this is because I you're thought from the fucking could Scotland, use a bit more dude. security. That's why you act like that. But my plan has gone awry. I apologized when he almost All trampled the off the hamlet trolls. yesterday. He just needs more time. But everyone wants him gone. They think it's mad, my training a troll. Impossible, even. It's a bit ludicrous. I'm inclined to agree with them. Trolls are dangerous creatures. I know. I know. But I had to try. <sighs> I suppose I understand why everyone's been so doing? concerned. Wanted to try. What made me think I could train him? I should have learned from Barnabas the Barmy. But he's my troll and my problem. I'll be honest. I'm afraid I won't be able to take care of him. He's stronger than any troll I've ever encountered. I wish I knew someone else who could do it. I'll kill him. What exactly were you training the troll to do? I was hoping to train him to serve as protection for us. Frankly, I struggled to teach him even a word or two. Couldn't give him even a semblance of self-control. Who's Barnabas the Balmy? Surely you've seen the tapestry of him at Hogwarts. It hangs in the seventh floor corridor. He allegedly tried to train trolls for the ballet. You can imagine how that turned out. I'm not thrilled at the prospect, but I'll consider it. Oh, no. I didn't mean to suggest that you should do it. In fact, you should avoid the area just southwest of here. At least until I work up the courage to do what needs to be done. A troll on the loose near a hamlet. I won't could be kill devastated. that troll. I won't kill that troll. I won't do it myself, and I don't care if she's around to see it. Rebellion. Seems a pleasant enough little place. I'd be right. terribly grateful if you could help me and my friend. You sound as if you could use some help. Oh, yes, I could. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. A dear friend of mine in Feldcroft is at his wit's end due to the relentless attacks on his hamlet by Ranrock and his loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages to help, but they've gone missing. You sent crates of cabbages? To battle Ranrock's loyalists. I this did guy's indeed. A freaking... You see, I know Come on, plants, man. and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation, they'll simply leave Feldcroft alone. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiai. I simply can't leave my shop at present. Why would the goblins target Feldcroft? My friend Bernard says they've been seen in the area for a while. He seems to think they're looking for something, but lately, they've become more aggressive. Could you not grow or buy more Chinese chomping cabbages? I suppose I could, but that would take time. Time we do not have, what with Ranrock's thugs posing new threats every day. Besides, it's the principle of the matter. I grew those cabbages, and they are extraordinary. Any idea where I might find the crates? Yes. From what I hear, one was spotted south of Feldcroft. The other, so I hear, is south of Brockborough, near the river. In a Very well, sir. Down by the I shall river. keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. 
What do you have for sale? I'm convinced that Feldcroft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. Sounds like Feldcroft's in trouble. Perhaps I should try to help. I'll be able to put that to good use. Keep that. That ought to serve you nicely. I Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. I might need him for a quest or something. I wonder who lives here. Rebellion. Sure Why not? Whatever. Oh, I'll come back for you. <laughs> they make funny noises. trying to kill me. No one died today. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Rebellion. Let me say. Reparo. Reparo. Rebellion. 
Don't you start. No. Start stealing our plants. Is there something I can help you with, Mr... Adley. Edgar Adley. Adley. Uh, no. no, I don't think so. But it's Milo and his mad schemes. Milo? He was my friend. Came to me a few days ago with a brilliant plan to make some quick galleons. All I had to do was follow him into the Forbidden Forest. Had I had known he wanted to procure venom from a living acromantula. Oh, poor Milo. He didn't deserve to go like that. I think he Sounds did like Milo it. knew exactly what he was in for and risked your life as well. No, no. M Milo wouldn't have thought that way. He wasn't a bad wizard, merely a bit overconfident at times. I can't think of it. Milo's body is still in that cave with the absconder. The absconder? Aye, Milo's name for the acromantula. He did have a flair for uh -huh. the dramatic. <laughs> in fact, as he died, Milo begged me to take his heirloom pocket watch. So that his daughter would have something to remember him by. Oh, but he's got I, a daughter. I, I fled. Why would someone risk their life for spider venom? As a potion ingredient, acromantula venom is incredibly valuable. Interesting. In large part because it is, as Paul Milo has proven, impossible to get from a live acromantula. Oh, I can do it. Oh, I, I can do it. I can try to collect the Elum watch, Miss Radley. <clears throat> Can't possibly go to the Acromantula's cave. Oh, I'll, I'll, do I'll do it. Please, forget I'll do it. Oh, you haven't met me. Where I'm, I'm a wizard. Where could that Acromantula cave be? And dang it, I'm a ballsy wizard too. Like ballsy, selfish. Don't care for anyone's life but myself. All right. Ah, uh, you won't get me on me. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Uh, you're 21, you can go anywhere, bro. 21 Savage, bro. Yeah, we'll do that one. That's not that far. Oh, I can't. I can't go in there, huh? That was just the game acting weird. I've always said that travel broadens. Rebellion. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. 
What? Now if I could lay like checkpoints down? Oh, that'd be sweet. That's neat. And there's balloons here now, so. somewhere I don't see there's one Off on another adventure, are we? Goblins will find I'm always on adventure. Is it even worth it? You haven't had mushroom stew like what my mother used to make. Yes, sir, I'm puffing and huffing. You can't imagine how inconvenient that is. dangerous oh, that'd be a beast <laughs> so am I screwed for coming over here See me, human suit. 
What are you up to now? Trouble. That's the whole lot of trouble. <clears throat> These rocks have seen You can feed a beast, or it can feed you. I prefer the land. Are you in what the hell? Trouble? Nearly attacked by wolves, I was. Only just escaped with my life. I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be in possession actually. of such a thing? You've got no idea. Yes, I have some right here. <clears throat> Please take it and be careful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. What's wrong I with a cat ears, bro? Heart. I feel better already just knowing I have some thunder brew on hand. Please take this. Thanks for your generosity. Oh, yeah? Oh. You hear that? I got lucky. Well, you hear that? I got lucky, huh? Oh, yeah? That's good. Where's that? That's like right here, right? Yeah. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped oh. me before. Oh. That was straight liquor. Oh my god. Peanut butter liquor too. Yeah, I'm staying like low altitude here. It looks fun anyway. Ah! Rebellion. I love the tricks, man. I love the That's it. I should tell Madam Twiddle about what happened. And this is why we get all the checkpoints. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I don't care what you've said. Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes. I had to destroy a number of large vases, and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done! Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. 
Thank well, you. my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next hey. constitutional. Oh man, oh, I was going to charge her money. Would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. Man, I should get paid. Where's that cabbage? Nice to see you, my young friend. Hi, hi. That crate of Chinese chomping cabbages is somewhere in this camp. Rebellion. It isn't Nora Treadwell's precious little guardian. Slippery little friend, aren't you? No spy. You dare slay one of my own? You will fall! Levioso! <laughs> Let me get my bearings here for a second. Oh, I gotta watch out. <clears throat> Dang, I can't take him out yet. How far is this? A thousand feet, yards, wherever you are. Where is it? Seems a pleasant enough little place. Enjoy. I can see why Feldcroft needs help. Ragnarok's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. They must have the other crate of choice. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> 
Your blood's on Ranrock's hands. Rebellion. All the crates of Chinese chomp and cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. It's right there. Hello there. Do you have the special delivery for my dear? Hello, Mr. Undi. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Marvelous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place, along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Yeah. Do you have any idea why the goblins are attacking Feldcroft? No clue. I used to think it was because of its strategic location. But now it's as if they were looking for something. I will admit, however, that I don't know what they could possibly be looking for. How do you and Eddie know each other? We met at Hogwarts been friends and business associates ever since. I wasn't surprised to get his owl about his Chinese chomping cabbage scheme. He was always one to go out of his way to help another. Oh, yeah? What do you have for sale? At last, some reinforcements. Hopefully this is enough to thwart the goblins. Now, if you like what you bought, be sure to come in and see me again. A pleasure doing business with you. Have I mentioned your welcome to stop by any time? Oh yeah? Oh yeah? I feel welcome there, Daddy. I mean, sir? Sir? Oh, the butterflies. Ah, uh, man. Nah. I'm an idiot. Okay. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue <laughs> There they are. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies.
See them, man. <coughs> well, well, look what we have here. Hogs mean. Meet, here I come. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterfly. Hello, Miss Willardy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? I did, and I followed them into the forest, but... I'm afraid there was nothing to see. Oh, oh, I see. 21. Mm. Nonetheless, I'm, I'm grateful that you tried. It, it was very brave of you, really. Well, thank you. You take care, my friend. Nice to see you, my young friend. Young? I'm a fifth year. Look at this. Hey, you, Hufflepuff. Amelda Rays? Albie Wheat sent me. Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing I'm, off I'm in savage. flying class with Clopton. <clears throat> Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Yeah. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Hufflepuff. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. I got this. I can see how these can get real hard. Real 
hard real quick. This is really fun. It is though. And this score is really good. <laughs> now that's more like it. <laughs> this is rather fun. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You I'm and everyone savage. else need to get a thicker Straight skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. <coughs> we'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. There you are. The cross one's duelist to beat. I'll be glad to hear how I fared. Oh, you with something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Savage. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that's... that my work's had potential all along. Sure, sure. Who has doubted you so I can kill them? Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. That's trash. <sighs> Put a turbo Those on people mine. don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight. Nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. Of course, they do nap in the afternoons, from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Dope, dope, dopity doppity doop. Let's see. Just warm this up real quick. Alright. Whoa, 
are we looking for today? What do you got? Thanks for stopping by. Nothing, so. Hope to see you again. There's another quest in this town, I'm pretty sure. Right? Harry Pippin. Where's that? Yeah, that's in this. Take up her body. Oh, there. In the market. Hello, layer. Sorry. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Uh, she doesn't like you all that much. I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And <laughs> at least it's done with. This man don't give a fuck. Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. Very well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. Best of luck with your potions, care. Mr. Pippin. Do take care. When am I ever supposed to be pleased with business? I'm always gonna be ripping you off, old man. You think you're ever gonna get the one up on me? Nah, as long as you're hiring me for, for deliveries. Nah, nah, nah. You're not gonna get off that easy. You're lucky I don't rob you. Because honestly, Rebellion. I do that thing, but I like to do it. So don't step on 21's toes. Are we? Always, ma'am. Mm. Let me drive the boat. This looks in. Lift them. them. No, I have to set them on fire first. That's what that is. So yeah.
I hated everyone for that fight. Chest, there we go. <gasps> I, I've got a feeling that I can believe in. Travel broadens the mind. Hmm. It's like a place right out of a storybook. You've made up for I do hope my I don't think I should right. tell her because it would break her heart. Madame Beaumont, I do have some news of your brother. Please tell me he's safe. I'm afraid he's joined the Ashwinders and has no interest in returning. What? what No, no, this can't be. He was seeking their advice, that's all. I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madam Bugman. <laughs> what more could I have done? I couldn't have done anymore. He was lost. Badolf, my dear, dear brother. Oh, my sincerest gratitude, you brave soul. Yeah, I'm like, at least, like, he's still alive, so. Hold the bridges. I sell that shit? I did probably. Oh. Let's do that. Little kitty swim. Let's do that. And then, uh... uh wow, a lot of handles. That kind of looks cool. Talents. Seven talent points available?
Those are both good. That's a good one. Oh, those three are so good. But, I have to go with this. Rebellion. I think there were doxy eggs as well. But surely they Darth is so intimidating. trouble my cousin mm. mm. how are your assignments coming along I completed your assignments professor good you should be ready to learn to pulso let's see what you can do concentrate do not let your mind wander. Hmm. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the hall. Go the enchanted books here. I'm glad to see that you seem What is... Determined hmm. to master your spell casting. That what are you up it? to now? Half a bottle of flabbergasted. All right, y'all. I'm probably going to get some sleep tonight so I can play more tomorrow. Have a good night.